Now, the April school holidays are here, which means happy days are here. And for many parents, it's a, it's a time to relax. And really, I think it's a time to justify why kids can lie around, lounge on the couch, you know, vegetate, if you will. And uh, research has actually shown that if kids sit on couches for long enough, there's a very real chance that they might sprout roots and get stuck to those couches. No, of course, that's not true. That's just a scary story you can tell your kids. But according to parenting expert Nikki Bush, they could develop something called the triple S syndrome, something that she's coined, and she's going to tell us all about it this morning. How are you, Nikki? Fine, thanks, Kat. Fantastic. Now, the triple S syndrome. I imagine music in the background going dum dum dum. <laughs> what is the triple S syndrome? It's a it's a phrase that I, I've coined to describe what happens to kids, as you say, when they sprout roots and, and, and grow into the couch. <laughs> you know, we're surrounded by so many screens today, and our kids just um, are, are, are such digital natives. They love TV, they love computer games, they love PlayStation, Wii, all those things. Mm -hmm. um, and they are at risk of developing triple S syndrome, which is when they are too sedentary, leading a screen-based life, and and they become quite solitary. Wow, okay. So so are kids spending, when you say solitary, are they spending more and more time alone these days? Yes, there's a, there, there's a term, the world in one room, and children are at risk of living their lives in one room, in the family media center. Wow. So in front of one screen or another, in fact, they don't have to go out to find entertainment because it's all here. Everything so they, is their world can become quite small. And that's not a great way for uh, exploring the world and discovering how big our world is when everything is is happening yeah. in one small room. Yeah. What are the real dangers of something like that? Well, children can't tell the difference between reality and what's going on on a screen. So they can become quite scared, for example, 24-hour news reporting, um, a tsunami, could it happen in Joburg? And, oh, uh, and that kind Small of... children in Joburg can, sure. can believe that that can happen because they, they don't know any different, yeah. you know. Um, and children are spending a lot more time on screens than we think. Just average TV viewing, uh, somewhere around three hours a day on average. And that's not supervised. And in the school holidays, it can go right up to eight hours a day. Wow. Now we're not saying that screens per se are bad, mm -hmm. um, but we do need to be careful that our children are not just marinated in an on-screen world, yeah. because there is a whole lot more to life yeah. than that. And then we talk about the fact that they're spending too much time being sedentary, so they're sitting. Sitting down, not really um, moving not much, no moving. much physical now, activity. The, the body is the architect of the brain, and in order to develop the neurological pathways for good academic learning later on, they need to move mm -hmm. because movement um, ensures that the body lays down myelin in those neurological pathways so that yeah. the brain fires well mm -hmm. and effectively. Yeah. And if there's not a lot, lot of movement, the brain doesn't actually physically mature and grow in the right way. So it's a little sure. bit like um, growing up living under a mushroom, you know, in the dark. Yes. Uh, children need light, they need air, they need movement, mm -hmm. they need space. And they also need to connect with other people. Yeah. So we talk about a solitary existence. Yes. Now we know that we're social animals, we're social beings. Mm -hmm. And in order to learn about things like emotional intelligence, to learn conversation skills, to learn about the rules of engagement, mm -hmm. we need to actually connect with other human beings. Very and true. it's quite easy when we sit in that world in one room to not connect with other people because we're being entertained, we're engaged. Children are actually really focused when they're playing on a screen or when they're interacting with a screen. Mm -hmm. In fact, any mother knows if you want to get out of the house on time and you don't want your kids getting into things, just plonk them in front of a screen. They won't move, <laughs> they will be engaged, they'll be focused, they won't get up to mischief, yeah. they won't mess. Um, the problem is sometimes we take it too far. Yeah. And one of the reasons why children are overdoing it is because we allow them wow. to so parents play a really important role in this. So speaking on that, what is the antidote to the triple S syndrome? <laughs> so we have to teach them to be media savvy. Mm -hmm. So we have to determine how much they play with a screen or watch a screen and what content they're involved with. Mm -hmm. But to really engage them in the simple pleasures of life. So encourage them to build forts with blankets and sheets and things like that. Have dinner underneath the dining room table rather than on top from time to time. Um, how about building a puzzle together? Yes. And that doesn't, when you let a child do that alone, sometimes they go, uh, but if you're doing it with them, the, the, the operative word there is with, mm -hmm. uh, do things together with your children. What about 10 pin bowling? You don't even have oh, to go. Ah, that yeah, is a favorite of mine. But you don't have to go out to a bowling alley. You can even create 
aerated in your home. So just fill up old, um, you know, two litre cool drink bottles yes. with water or sand, um, get a ball, and, and they love creating their own games. You know, Brilliant. we forget things like that. Something as simple as blowing up balloons, taking a, a permanent marker, and, and drawing pictures of faces on a balloon. For little Lees, you could, you could simply be sitting next to them with a pen and draw little pictures on their fingers. So you create oh, little word. finger puppets. Wow. I mean, we're talking things that are for free, yeah. things that are very basic, old-fashioned stuff in a way, mm -hmm. but yeah. things that children need to learn how to appreciate because otherwise they always tell you that they're bored. Ah, and of course, I think things, that, yeah, things can, that can be enriching to the parents' life as well at the end of the Absolutely. day. Nikki, thank you very much. Always appreciate your advice. Thanks, now, of course, uh, you at home, uh, parents, you're not off the leash as yet because uh, we also can also develop every single day through continuous learning which can be a major tool for reaching your career goals and uh, online or distance learning has really proven itself as an attra attractive solution to working professionals out there. Now one such organization that promotes this is getsmarter.co.za. Now they work together with the University of Cape Town and various other institutions to offer more than 30 online courses from financial management all the way through to social media. Now they're giving away a short course of your choice worth nine thousand rand a simple thing that can really add immense value to your life now to enter the competition simply go to www.getsmarter.co.za click on the competition link and enter your details to stand a chance remember the competition closes on the 5th of april maar nou is het tijd vir ons om 'n bietjie kreatief te raak met ons hande en Leanne en Lizelle Kloete deel 'n paar ideeë saam met ons volgend